Hey guys, this is Sitspawn, and welcome back to episode 27 of my Realm Restructor 2.5 Pontus campaign. Now, my last episode obviously had no sound, and that's because my headset microphone that I've been using seems to have crapped out a little bit on me, and sometimes it'll record, sometimes it won't. Last episode, it just decided not to record any of my commentary, so I'm going back to using my old um, desk microphone, which has noticeably lower audio quality. That's just something we're going to have to live with until I get a new microphone, which might be a few weeks, depending on how much it costs and how much I have on hand. So, moving on, we ended up killing Pergamum during our siege of Ephesus here. It took out their last general, apparently, so Gordium is now another rebel city. And I think we are ready to assault it here in a moment. The rest of our empire, we don't really have a lot of money to spend, so I think... I think we did all the stuff we can this turn as far as construction goes. Uh, not sure what I was doing with these guys, to be completely honest. I think they were actually just part of this army that was being retrained here. Uh, we've got some rebels, but I'm not too worried about that at this moment. Let's go ahead. Alright, we were also going to get a spine here. Do we have one in there already? No, we don't. It's around here somewhere. Here he is. Oh, okay, he's out of movement points. So that'll be taken care of in another turn, but I think we're good to go ahead and start our attack on Gordian here. They don't have too much in the way of uh, defense. They've got some troops, but I think we'll be able to take this just fine. So let's get to it. Alright guys, formation set up. Let's go ahead and get this battle started. Oh wow, they have reinforcements. Just one unit of hoplites and Pergamon, I believe, and they're directly behind me. That's convenient. We should be able to take them out, no problem. Let's put our Thrakatai right here. Let's go ahead and run them there, they'll have plenty of time to rest. Make sure our skirmish units are not on skirmish or fire will. We don't want them wasting their ammo here. While our catapults get into position. We'll just take care of these guys really quickly. Scarcity and Royals ready to go. Right here should be good enough. Let's put them on guard mode really quickly. There we go, they're going to engage. Let's just flank here. Get a little bit of a counter charge and some of the other units to help since we are at a downhill disadvantage here. And this should be a super easy uh, route. For one, they're unsupported. Two, we're going to have a downhill charge with heavy cav. We should suffer very few casualties. Overall. Get formation and charge. And they haven't broken yet, they're shaken. Let's, Let's go ahead and set one more charge up. It looks like we did lose a few cap, unfortunately. But after this battle, we'll be able to retrain this army regardless, so that's not really that big of a deal at all. Surprise, they held out through that. They lost quite a few men, right around almost 50 in that one charge. Hurry up and line up, guys. Good enough. Didn't really get a very good impact on that because they had some stragglers running around the back. But while that's happening, let's go ahead and take this tower out. Down to about 50 men. Still shaken. We'll go for one more charge here and that should take them out. Thrakatai have taken 
just a couple casualties, nothing serious. I think he's lost like four men so far. Turned a little quicker so we don't have the units split on us again, hopefully. And this should get the round. Yep. Alright, that's taken care of. Drive them from the battlefield! I'm gonna go ahead and move the rest of our army up to about here. Tower's gone, so let's go ahead and go for this portion of the wall. And we can just trim the spear for a little bit, I think. The walls yep. are breached, and the way into the city is open for our let's soldiers. Let's get this what part right here. Sit in rows, go back here. General, you just go chase these guys down. Rekti, you can get back in your formation right here. Down. Make they sure have some archers or something? The ruins. We're taking some casualties on our archers, but I'm not sure what the hell's hitting us. Still have no idea what was shooting us. Can't be that tower. That tower is so far away. The enemy I have fire will off on these guys. Who knows? Approaches. Either way, let's go ahead and switch to this tower. Done. Can we get a hold here? I think we can. Oh, do they have a catapult in the city? Right, they do have some siege weapon, that's what was getting casualties. They've got some ballistas right here. Damn! Those are actually getting good kills, let's move back over this way. Okay. Put a hole right here. should be ordered forward! Let's just have these guys face right here, so at least their shields are facing those ballistas. Don't think it's going to help, but hey. Let's move my general out of the way. No point in having him just die randomly. One more hit in that wall should probably be down. And yeah, so speed up. Show no mercy! Uh, the enemy walls are quite, down! There we go. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath and the roof. This should be our last one we need right here, and then we'll go ahead and begin our offensive. Alrighty. Now let's see what their guard looks like. They have some noble cavalry over here. Basically all our cavalry is right in that hole. Naked flags we can take out with archers, so both of those should be no problem. And some heavy spearmen. We will go ahead and send two units of these guys over here. One unit here. One unit here. Rectire fresh, so we're going to send them right over this way and send our last two units of Zoe this way. And we're going to advance our archers to here. And we'll have them run. The rest of our troops can line up about here with our cavalry right behind. No, you don't need to lose formation like that. Those damn ballistas are not being nice, but let's go ahead and see if we can silence them with our artillery. Have a little bit of a duel here going. Ouch. Yeah, these guys definitely need to die. It's gonna be kind of a long shot. Oh wow, well oh, that's already one. One ballista dead. Quicker than I expected. Well, 
Will that one hit? Oh, it hit the crew, not the blister. Either way, we are getting some decent results here. Let's go ahead and start targeting these naked fanatics. Turn guard one on, some archers gonna start chasing it and get out of position. Let's keep an eye on this artillery duo in the meantime. Oh, a little off. Oh, they're gaining experience, are they? Bastards. That's off. And that's off as well. How about this one? Uh, good. We haven't lost any of our catapults or anything. That would be unfortunate. Definitely move these guys a little bit further out of the way here. And our fire is having pretty good effects on these naked fanatics as predicted. Well, relation, relation naked spearmen, whatever you want to call them. These guys are naked fanatics. They're not fun to fight hand to hand, so I'm very glad to uh, take them out with our nerves. We still have only hit the first one, so I think we just kind of got a lucky shot in. And we're going to kind of start pouring in some of their breaches here. Oh, we've gotten two of them. They just have the one left. Ooh. Nope. Both a little off. Oh, oh. I don't know how that hit him on there, but not bad, but I'll take it. And let's have these guys throw their javelins and whittle these cavalry down to the correct time. Turn you off of guard mode. to the numbers a bit. And then let's let them charge in there. Archers, you guys target ventilations here. And our pursuit over here will just work on these spearmen. is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle. Great gods be praised. Awesome. The Looks like we took care of their cavalry over Fear here. A home in our enemy's hearts. Oh wow, they're um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our general and our Hatiroi over that direction. We're gonna tell our cavalry to stop firing at the enemy so we don't hit them and We'll actually have our general stop and take... Oh no, I think we, uh... Yeah, we finished off these ballistas here, so they're just gonna charge in like mad men. Which is fine. We'll take them out of the way over there. Let's go one up to about here, and our quickest way to the city square will be right along this road. And it really doesn't look like they have any resistance left back here, just some archers, so... I think we're going to be sneaky. Let's run these guys. Oh, wait, no, they've got their naked fanatics running for their lives. So we will have a little bit to take care of, but we can just bring our archers up and that'll be no problem at all. Archers or maybe just our skirmishers can probably take care of that pretty easy. These guys took a few casualties, but that's okay. Easily retrained right over here at Pergamon itself. And we need to get our cavalry movement again. This guy's just kind of smacking this building over and over again. He's misfiring constantly. Uh, 
Nope. Way off. Sorry guys, not quite the uh, time period of the Charge of the Light Brigade yet. You're still at the disadvantage here. <laughs> that went nowhere. And now you're dead. Enjoy that. Get some close-ups in the meantime. Not really a lot to see, just our general and his friends stabbing the crap out of these little wolves. We're here, it looks like, oh, we just routed the spearmen on this end. So they're pretty much liquidated. Head these guys up this way as well. I totally told them to stop moving, so I don't know why they kept going, but... Let's get them out of combat. These spearmen are going to do nasty things to them. We might as well turn fire at will on though. We can shoot these guys with arrows. That'll look just fine. Yeah, they're not taking too kindly to that. Probably start speeding this battle up here in a minute just to get everyone to the city square. Oh, okay, are they moving into attack here? Let's give them a charge. Archers are spear armed, they're putting up a little more resistance, but that pretty much took the fight out of that. Okay. Kill them. And kill them, and this battle should be over. No way, they still have some archers here. You guys can go after him. There we go. This is a heroic victory, worthy of great soldiers. <sighs> that was a neat little battle. Had a bit of an artillery duel. Nothing too crazy. Alright guys, the city is ours. We're going to, as typical, depopulate the settlement. Destroy what we don't need. Ooh, nice, we can uh, already build a decent little selection of troops here. Okay. We will give you rural community control and tribal justice. And we can actually build a little more for the rest of our empire here. 
anyone will really desperate need. Tarx is here. And they are shrinking a little bit in population, but that's fine. We want to go ahead and increase their public order before we worry about growing them anymore. So let's continue along those lines. Just give them a temple of Dionysus. Aeropolis. Oh. You're just kind of bait at this point, but we might as well pretend like we care about you. And we'll go ahead and build the next level of a temple for Tala, and I think that pretty much brings our money back down again. <sighs> now the fun part is going to be Sardis, because I believe they've got about five free armies in the area. And I'm tempted to just make a horse archer army or two since they're very cheap. I wouldn't really just use them against their factions because of how kind of game breaking they are, but I might use them just to clear out some rebels for us. Because otherwise that would take forever between the fighting and retraining to clear that out. Let's see. Moving. Moving into Yeah. There they all are. Moving into position. At least four full stacks and a full garrison almost. But due to their troop composition, it looks like horse archers should just tear these guys apart. Very little or no range support at all, so I think that's going to be our plan. We'll take care of that here in the next couple turns once we've kind of consolidated a bit. It shouldn't overly hurt us monetarily, minus the actual recruitment. But let's save and end the turn. <sighs> now if we can just get the Seleucids and Armenia to stay somewhat quiet for a couple turns, we should have no problem in finishing Asian Finer off. And we will figure out where we go from there. I am kind of tempted to go for the Peloponnese and... Uh, just Greece in general, just because of how much of a money maker it is, and we can easily just send people over on ships, and it's hard for them to strike back since the AI is in great naval invasions. I mean, we're on barbarian invasions, so it's as good as they get on Milarone engine, but it's still just AI. They're not really that smart. Tarsus, that's right, we were going to replace this guy, I think, because he was absolutely terrible, if I remember correctly. Yes. So you, get out of there. And we're making a little less money with him, but I believe, yeah, I think, let's see, 160 compared to... 125, oh yeah, way worth it. So, re-switch them out. You can go die somewhere, maybe. That would be awesome. You're not a family member, so I really don't care what happens to you. You just sit on your bridge. You're a troll. Go troll the bridge. And let's send our soon. We only have a great chance of getting into the city. They only have two freaking uh, troops guarding it, though. Moving into position on my way. Huh. We're going to go ahead and build some ballistas here. It'll only take a turn. And then we'll add them to this army. But I'm not going to waste killing the spies, as expensive as they are to train. 
So let's go ahead and build what we need to build. Let's go to our major first and get our capital. We could do that. That'll be pretty much all our money for the turn. Through a decent return, though, it's going to be uh, over a thousand increase. Well over. I think we'll do it. We'll worry about building for all the other places afterwards. Well, that is going to delay our uh, horse archer training, but that's alright. It'll be worth it. That'll basically pay for those horse archer armies by itself. Let's see, we have a spy here. Another large rebel enclave over here in Byzantium, but I'm not worried about taking that at this exact moment. I mean, it's definitely on our list of places to conquer, but it's not urgent. We should probably go ahead and get a garrison for Ephesus and Gordian started. So let's see, yeah, we'll just go ahead and train a couple of the pikemen there. That's pretty much all our cash, so Gordian will get some troops next turn. Let's see if this guy's a night fighter. He is. I'm pretty sure I checked that like five times in the last, last episodes. These guys don't have generals, so I could take this army and do a night battle against one of them. And I wouldn't have to fight them all at once. They only have the one general right here. He might be a night fighter, but if I attack... Say like this one, he shouldn't be able to intervene. We'll see. I'm kind of reluctant to move into their territory because I feel like they're all going to just gang up on me if I do. <sighs> Anyways. Don't know that there's a lot left to do for this turn. I would just go ahead and besiege that, but I really don't want to waste time and money fighting a, a garrison army there. Looks like this army should be retrained for the most part. Let's finish that off. And this spy will kind of go around and try to get some updated map information for us in the meantime. See exactly what everyone has been up to. So let's end the turn. We'll get back to that. <laughs> they tried to assassinate our troll. They did. Yay. They took care of him for us. And now our is getting ready to cross that bridge, so we retrained that army just in time. Except that guy for marriage. We are making better money. That's nice. We got a new general come of age. Go ahead and retrain these guys. And we'll make a couple more troops to take care of these rebels, I think. Nothing too fancy. We'll deal with that in a minute. Ephesus got some roads, that's handy. Amasia got its ballista. <laughs> the boy broke their alliance with everyone, so obviously one of their allies went to war with them and kicked them all out. So these ballistas can't quite reach this army this turn, so we're going to send them up here. And... We'll probably be fine with one less archer unit. Probably need to keep all our heavy infantry here. And then we'll lose a heavy cat or a light cap unit. They still have five cavalry after that. More than enough cap to take care of business. And hopefully next turn we'll be able to take our son Sada from the Armenians and punish them for their many grievous sins against us. So let's go ahead and get our army reconfigured by Antioch. 
forward. Sir, sir, my lord. Yes, Stratigos. My lord, my lord. Orders. Yes, Stratigos. Sir, sir. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. And there we go. <laughs> Antioch has is so lightly defended, it's not even funny. We'll give him... Eh, nah. We'll be able to react if we need to, that's what these forts are for. I think we're gonna stick him on the bridge and let him attack if he wants. And if not, we can bring the fight to him. Alright, now while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and get our horse archer army raised here. I think we're just going to stick with Scythian medium horse archers just because they're the most cost effective. We might have a couple heavier units in there just to help finish off when we're out of ammo. We'll nine here. Mazika. And I don't even think we're going to bother with a general. Just because he can't skirmish, and that's just micromanaging we don't need with the Horse Archer Army. <sighs> okay. Oh, we got this new general here. Let's send him to... Program. They should have an academy, right? They start with one. Yeah, the Ludus Magnus. We'll send him over to Pergamon yes, then. In need of the governor anyway, so that works out perfectly. Yes, you guys can leave and you guys can go in. Gosh, these Eastern Levy spearmen have to be like the least cost effective infantry in the game. They're 431 upkeep, and they just have no bang for your buck. I don't know why you would ever recruit them, ever. Like, really, they should be 200 upkeep max. Maybe slightly above. Let's build roads at Cordium. Government determination at Pergamon. Well, I think we'll make Tara an autonomous city. Sidewalls get government determination. And let's use the rest of our money to train a couple troops at Sinope to take care of those rebels. We'll get... What do we have enough to get a couple of? We've got all the cavalry we need for generals, probably. Two units of levy pikemen, and that should be enough for us to easily clean these guys up. We'll send these guys over there to help. And that should be a, another turn that's pretty much finished up. Next turn we will go ahead and build that garrison for Yes, And I think for the moment we're just going to leave this army here in this area just in case we get attacked. And then after we get this garrison we'll start sending this army. Well, no, it makes more sense to leave this army in the area since these troops can be trained locally for the most part. And these guys will start heading back here. Can't do it, sir. I kind of want to see if we can get a bridge battle. That would be amazing. Let's see if some of these rebels attack us. That might be our easiest way to just clean these guys out. But, end the turn. Oh, I forgot to move my spy. We'll do that next turn.
looks like this is still held by the three peoples here. At your service. Yep. Oh yeah, another Wow. We have like all the free people enclaves all right around our territory. That's awesome. Moving. Not really. Make it a little less cash, a little less cash since we trained some more troops here, but that's okay. Built a lot of buildings apparently here. And a lot of dark soldiers, obviously. They did not attack us on our bridge because they're jerks and they don't want to die. My lord. And we're definitely My going lord. to retrain these guys up in Amasia before we send them out. My lord, war dead. Move out. Waiting for ambush. So we might as well have just waited another turn and built them here. But who cares? Would have saved us money though. Alright. Our garrison. You guys are kind of expensive. You guys are worthless. So two of you. And two of you. We'll go with one instead of the general there. That should even out the middle quarter. <sighs> Pergamon is growing still too fast for my tastes, but what can you do? We'll go ahead and build tribal justice there. Government determination here. Government determination here. And here. Make media. Same thing for you. Go ahead and take care of these rebels this turn. Sir. Armenia went ahead and backed off. That's fine with me. The Seleucids are running around with individual generals, which is just absolutely idiotic. One of them is their faction heir. That's funny. Yep. I might kill him in a minute just to amuse myself. But for now, let's go ahead and fight these rebels. This might be the end of the episode My here. My lord! Should be able to take them on. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot to skip this loading screen, but it seems to be going fast enough. It doesn't really matter. Are you kidding me? It was completely flat ground on the campaign map, and it gives them a mountain. Where did this come from? What the hell? I kind of officially hate this game right now. Not even gonna lie. That totally blows what I said out of the water about making this an easy fight. There's literally no reason for there to be a mountain here. And they're way on the top. No figure. Screw it guys, I'm not even fighting that. This is kind of a cowardly move, but there is no point. They're just going to camp up there. I'm going to take massive casualties and possibly even just lose my garrison there for no reason. So they should just retreat back into the city. We'll get a little bit of a bigger army and scare them off their terrain advantage here, hopefully. But that's not worth fighting. Not enemies. Counts as a defeat technically, but who cares. I wish there was a way to scout the terrain the enemy was on. <sighs> okay, yep, our guys just went right back into snow, whatever. 
That's completely stupid, but what can you do? I'm not going to train any more troops because we're already spending a lot of money on troops, but I'll send some more over this way. Probably on the back, back on the way to retrain one of my armies over my Pergamon. So no, we'll give you third level of a... Uh, well, actually, you need to grow. We don't need to grow massively. But let's go ahead and build the first aid center there. Get your population moving up a little bit here. And the Shrine of Zeus. Or I switched to here, I think. Yep. So yeah, you guys will head up this way. Take care of those rebels on your way out. Probably just auto battle it. Well, that was a very anticlimactic end to this episode, I am not going to lie. But, you know, sometimes things happen. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And yeah.